Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today's video, I'm gonna go over a mechanical advantage. The only tool I'm gonna to need is my tape measure and my noggin. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm right here at a log right, uh, log winching system, and I'm trying to figure out the mechanical advantage of this cable. So mechanical advantage is really just a fraction or a ratio of one number to another. The one number is how far the cable travels versus how far my hand travels in a level of work. So my hand, if I winch in here, it's gonna travel in a circle. That's gonna be a circumference. I figure out how long that circumference is in one revolution, and I figure out how far this cable travels in one revolution, and that's my mechanical advantage. So let's start over here. This is 12 inches out. So I'm 12 inches out. I'm gonna take this handle Rotate it one revolution. Recheck my work. Now this is, this is 10 inches out. So this cow, cable travel a total of two inches. Let's see if we figure out how far my hand traveled in a revolution. So that's a revolution around a circle. This is a radius. 10 inch radius, circumference is two pi r. Pi is approximated by 3.14. We'll round that to three. Two times three, six, times radius 10, 60. So in 60 inches of hand travel, my, cat, my cable travels two inches. So the mechanical advantage here is 30 to one. So it's, it's actually a lot of power. I mean, maybe my maximum force into here is, you know, I don't know, something like my body weight if I put all my weight into it, or even half my body weight. But even if I put 100 pounds of force on this handle, I should be able to pull 30 to one on 100, 3,000 pounds of force. So with just a little bit of gearing on this winch, you create a 30 to one mechanical advantage and 100 pound of force can create 3,000 pounds of force. Easy to figure out by just seeing how far the workload travels versus how far the input travels, and that's your ratio of mechanical advantage. This lever goes one direction and the other, so this will feed the cable out. Once you're fed out, click it the other way. So this goes to that little gear, and then this gear right here is not part of the drive. This gear right here is only the locking mechanism here. 